Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I present my silliest idea for 2022 so far, though the year is young. And this was brought about during a live stream when I was making the hydrogen upper stage for Super Heavy that I presented in a previous video. GM Studios said it looked a lot like Delta 3, and so I decided to run with that idea. I realized that the SRBs from SLS, the Space Launch System from NASA, uh, would fit onto Super Heavy if you put nine of them. Super Heavy's tank would not be strong enough to bear all this thrust at all. Uh, it would crumple like a little tin can, but yes, we could put them on and it would look like a Delta III. I neglected, however, the little skirts at the bottom of the boosters. I just remembered this diameter. So yeah, as a result, we have to size up the radial decouplers to stand them off away from the stage more than I would like. But we have them as is, and so this is going to be a rocket to piss off all three fandoms. Uh, well, all three uh, I, I consider the annoying fandoms. Uh, sorry, I love you all. But uh, the SpaceX people, the SLS people, and of course, the leftover Constellation people. Uh, so uh, it's a not a great model. I didn't have a good model in this install, but this is the J2X, and we're using nine of them. So, yeah. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm an equal opportunity offender or user of rockets. Um, yeah, I don't really care. I just want to run missions and try and get things done. I don't care what rocket you give me. So I'll try and make do. But really, all rockets suck at this point. I'm a sci-fi guy. I want warp drives, fundamentally. Basically, I want the, the really good stuff. And we've been sort of stuck with these things for quite a long time now, and it makes me depressed. But, yeah, I'll make do with what, with what we've got, but basically, none of these things impress me. <laughs> so, uh, that's where I come from. The payload that we're trying to get up is 480 tons. So, it's pretty respectable, it's about 4% of our launch mass, that, that was my estimate, and that's what we're trying to do. It's a little bit hard to decide because hydrogen and oxygen should be very efficient. The boosters are noticeably not very efficient. And then we've got the methane core in the middle. So and it's sort of a mix of things. So what percentage of our launch mass we should be aiming for is a bit of a question mark. But let's try it out. Okay, so this is a problem we've been having with this rocket. And I tested it during a live stream already. And that resulted in many explosions. And the reason for those explosions is it's glitchy. It's just really glitchy. And you can tell it's glitchy because on the pad right now, even though it's static, we've got 2.9 meters per second of velocity. Why? <laughs> right? Why do we have 2.9 meters per second of velocity? Well, that's because of the Kraken, which is about to strike. If we launch it with SAS or Smart ASS or any other MechJeb thing, it would be uh, detrimental to this rocket. There is only one thing that can control this rocket right now, and that is KOS. Now I'm gonna tweak the KOS script for this a little bit because we ended up a bit shallow, I think. Though the nine, uh, when I tested it during the live stream, we tested it with ED6V engines. Those are my engines, not the J2Xs. But I'm gonna use the J2Xs here. That will improve things a little bit in terms of burn time, so maybe we can go as shallow as we did. But during the live stream, I didn't have the right time to apoapsis, so we'll see about this. And actually, we probably want our target inclination to be different because we are launching from Boca Chica. 25, let's call it 26 degrees. So we'll just go 26 degrees, not the Cape's inclination. All right. All right, it looks like a Delta III, doesn't it? Hold on to your ears. That's probably longer than the Raptors need to burn ahead of time, but that's set for different rockets. Oh, it's a little bit askew, though. Oh, it's, it's, uh, I don't think KOS can do this. See, this is what happens, but even KOS could handle it this time. I don't know why it's like this. 
to be honest, uh, it deserves this sort of thing a few times. I'm interested in what kind of explosion this will do. If it's not obvious, this is not meant to be a serious proposal. Oh, it's breaking apart before it is the ground. That's interesting. And the game is going to take some time to decide how to do this. During the live stream, there was actually a very fancy one where the boosters all went off in formation. They all survived and went off in formation while the core exploded. But this one is a little bit more complicated. Okay. Yeah, let's let's see if we can get it so that it doesn't do that. Okay, okay, this time it's starting out with 0.0, .0 meters per second. You've got micrometers, microns, uh, per second over there. So, this time it's looking good. We're launching out of Boca Chica, by the way. Because, you know, SpaceX will totally make something like this, right? The core, the super heavy core is providing about one third of our thrust, actually almost exactly one third of our thrust on liftoff. So we know the core is designed for that much thrust, but we are putting on a total of three times as much, which it would not be able to survive, I don't think. Now, how did I manage to launch you with 0.0? I actually reduced the number of launch clamps to three. So it's something to do with the launch clamps as far as the Kraken is concerned. We're past the speed of sound. We're past the speed of sound under five kilometers, by the way. So this has a lot of thrust. The script is told to throttle down as it can to limit the, the dynamic pressure on the vehicle. It is actually dependent on the dynamic pressure. It can take that number. So, uh, probably as it throttles up, it'll pulse it because the dynamic pressure will change a bit. See, uh, here it's sort of pulsing it because as it throttles up, suddenly the dynamic pressure increases. So it goes back down a little bit. It's not ideal. I need to fix that. It's a simple thing to fix. Basically, you just tell it, if you've already throttled up, wait a little bit before throttling down again. Overall, because the SRBs have a thrust curve and also the Super Heavy can throttle, it does a good job of handling its thrust to weight ratio. I'll have to manually stage the SRBs though. Okay, getting ready to separate the boosters as soon as there's limited thrust out of them. I usually aim for 400 kilonewtons. Okay, and go! Worrisome pause every time. Okay, off go nine SLS SRBs there with the cool paint job that they'll never actually put on. Well, still looking like a Delta Three. I mean, I'd use this uh, particular texture for the upper tank because I like it a lot. But, so that doesn't exactly match a Delta Three look, but I think it's still okay. Now, we are expending Super Heavy because I don't think there's any way it would get back from this speed. No, uh, other bit, other bit. There we go. Not to mention it's got that fairing around it, and this pisses people off more. Anyway, <laughs> off goes the fairing. We are in space right now. We seem to have a lot of Delta V, but it depends on whether it can manage the stage time or not. 
really mid-flight it's a nice view of the Gulf of Mexico here sort of have the western edge of it over there and we're headed towards Florida okay having passed Florida and over to Bahamas we are in the final phase of flight it looks pretty good for the 480 tons here all right and shut down 276 by... oh no no that was my throttle whoops 276 by 240 yeah uh, I've got a physical throttle so if I accidentally have it up it'll reignite but yeah so since the tank is 480 tons that means the rest of this is 168 tons so it's not exactly light uh, but we have made orbit. We could probably get maybe 500 tons up, but I think that does it for this rocket. Uh, it looks good. It's just horrible on execute. I mean, uh, it makes you feel bad in so many ways. So we'll leave it here. That was the Delta Three Super Heavy. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.